Hello, I'm Dixon Kaufman, Chief of the UW Health Transplant Program. The video you're about to watch could literally save your life or the life of someone you love. The National Transplant Waitlist continues to grow at a rate that never seems to slow despite great efforts to improve organ donation. More than 80% of the people currently listed for transplant are waiting for a kidney. Thousands will die because they didn't receive the kidney they needed in time. Please help us change those statistics by paying close attention to the information in this video. Thank you. It's very important for every, everybody to know uh, that you should ask um, a wide range of people about their interests in possibly donating to you. I had assumed that a family member would be the best match for me, uh, but it turns out that one of my coworkers, Keith, um, was a better match than all of my family. I used Facebook to tell my friends that I needed a donor because I figured it was the fastest way to get the word out to a lot of people in a short amount of time. I was extremely honored that my son Brian was willing to make the sacrifice of donating a kidney to save my life. My family was unable to donate and I really didn't know who to turn to. Consequently, my friend Julie turned to me and she saved my life. I had somebody who wanted to donate, but didn't match, so I didn't know what to do. I really didn't realize how much it was affecting you know, close family members, extended family, and friends. I really didn't realize how much it was affecting them watching me go through all that. Probably the most important thing to me was how it was gonna affect the donor. Uh, I was really more worried about the donor than I was me. And so I asked many questions of the staff, doctors, transplant coordinators, everybody, and they answered all my questions. These testimonials represent some very common statements we hear from thousands of people who are currently waiting for a kidney transplant or contemplating the decision to be a living donor. They, like you, are struggling with the fact that kidney transplant wait times are increasing both here at UW Health and across the nation. Simply stated, more kidney donors are needed. Hello, I'm Dr. Aji Jamori, Chief of Nephrology and transplant nephrologist with UW Health. Thank you for taking a few minutes to learn more about living kidney donation. As you begin your living donation education, we want you to remember that the people in this video represent a wide range of emotions and experiences. And yes, everyone's experience is different, but each journey starts with first educating yourself and second, beginning the process of finding or becoming a living donor. Remember, the drive to find a living donor is about the effort, the drive. Rest assured, if you're actively seeking a living donor yourself, or with the help of your family or friends, you're doing everything you can do to advocate for yourself or your loved one. Hello, I'm Dr. Tony D'Alessandro, a UW Health Transplant Surgeon. I'd like to take a few minutes to remind you of a few important facts about living kidney donation and transplantation. First, a very important fact. Patients who receive a kidney from a living donor have better and longer success. In fact, patients who receive a living donor kidney enjoy good kidney function for nearly twice as long as those who receive a deceased donor kidney. In addition, receiving a living donor kidney will also get the patient off of dialysis sooner and for some people, help them avoid ever having to start dialysis treatments. Hi, I'm Rebecca Hayes, living donor social worker with the UW transplant team. Perhaps the most important thing you can remember during this time is that there are many people going through this same experience. You are not alone. We know you worry about issues such as potential donor's blood type or if living donation will be a financial burden to a donor but we have tools to help you figure these things out. In fact, we've created a living donor toolkit to help you on this journey. The UW Health Transplant Team is adamant about providing the highest level of care to all our living donors. It's our responsibility to carefully evaluate each potential living donor. Their safety is always the most important factor we consider. We all work together to educate each donor about the risks of living donation and we answer all of their questions and yours. Additionally, as the UW Health Living Donor Advocate, my job is to represent the donor's needs. I ensure that every potential living donor is donating a kidney only because they truly want to donate. 
please don't wait to bring up the subject of living donation with your family and friends. The longer you wait, the more sick you will become, which will reduce your chance of receiving a successful transplant. We ask that you actively talk to people about your need for a new kidney and give people a chance to learn more, understand more, and help you if they so choose. Asking someone to be your living donor or becoming a living donor yourself are important decisions. And we encourage you to take some time to expand your knowledge of living donation. Remember, our transplant team members are available to answer your questions. You will also find more information about living donation on our website at uwhealth.org slash living donor. If you're ready to speak to us about living donation, please complete the form on our website or call us at 608-263-1384. My daughter was my donor, and she told me she couldn't imagine her life without me. She is my only remaining parent, and giving her my kidney is not only keeping her around, but you know, it's also making me aware every day that I need to take better care of myself, too. I just saw what was happening and uh, grabbed one of the brochures and talked to some of the other folks around the office and uh, you know, just decided that this was somebody that was in need, and I had the opportunity to help. I didn't know if it was going to work at first or not, but in the end it did. The only way you could you know, tell somebody, in my opinion, is and get them to understand is if you show them exactly what you're going through. That's, I think that's the only way you, you really just can't tell somebody. Thank God I, I talked to my family and friends about considering donation. One of them was a match and I feel much better today because of it seeing the color come back in his face and his energy levels and all of that it's just um it's made me realize that i would do it a hundred times again i was thrilled and honored to be the one chosen to be able to donate a kidney to my father just because i know that if i hadn't done it he wouldn't be with us here today after learning that my dad you know needed a donor uh, we found out that it'd be a lot better if he had a living donor um, but I didn't really know if it would work for me because I'm adopted. So what I wanted to do is do all the tests and everything and just find out. And it came back, the results were a match, and to me that was a miracle. I'm a non-directed kidney donor. I'm healthy and well and wanted to do something good with those gifts. When he got sick, I wanted to help. Uh, I knew that I couldn't directly donate to him because I wasn't a perfect match. But through the National Kidney Exchange, I was able to give my kidney so that he could receive one. And in that way, there was no question about it because I didn't want to lose my friend. You know, he's a special person in life and it was just not even a second thought.